Hi guys, hope you all have an amazing day. We are here in Singapore and it just stopped raining, or actually it just almost stopped raining here and uh, we're out exploring some of the hawker centers here in Singapore. Right now we're at a very popular hawker center here in Chinatown called Maxwell Food Center. So let's go inside and check out and see what they have. One of the popular places to come is uh, Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken. So, Really excited to try this. I think there's a long queue already. <laughs> there's a line that goes around the corner here. The kind of guy you chill while others hurry. I didn't know that I've been the fool. I've been telling lies about something real. But I know love is based on honesty. Kept thinking how we love should feel. Knowing Okay guys, we are here at Maxwell Food Center to try chicken and rice. And not only any chicken and rice, it's the Tian Tian Hainese chicken and rice, which is really popular here at the Maxwell Center. So we had to come here early, get in line early, and they just opened up. So we got the food relatively quicker than we expected. We saw a table of people already had a whole bunch of chicken and rice on their table already. So I'm really excited to try this. The way I understand it is the rice is cooked in the broth of the chicken. So it's supposed to have a lot of chicken flavor in the rice. So let's try this first. Yeah, rice is super soft, but not mushy. The flavor is definitely in the rice. It has a garlic flavor, also a little hint of ginger, but the chicken broth is also in there. So, wow, that rice is really amazing. Perfect. All right, and then trying some of this chicken. All right, look at this chicken, guys. It looks so tender. Mmm. Wow. Chicken, so super tender. I have this kind of little glazed sauce on top of it. With a hint of sweetness, a little bit of it tastes like almost like a soy sauce. But yeah, this chicken is super tender. I mean, I don't know how they make this chicken, but it's tender and not mushy, but it's just tender. So easy to eat. Mmm, so good. But also, they have this, um, Hot sauce? I don't know what this is exactly, but let me go ahead and dip this in some hot sauce. There we go. Oh yeah, oh, that has kick to it. Oh my goodness. That is some hot sauce, but it's so good. Kind of vinegary hot sauce. Wow, that spicy sauce is really good. All right, put a little bit of hot sauce on here and we'll take a little bit of the rice and a bit of chicken and create this nice, bite. Mm. Mm. Look at the skin on this guys. Look at the glaze on the skin on the chicken. Let me try a piece with the skin on it. I, I only had it with the no skin but yeah let me try this. A little bit of hot sauce on here. Get some of the chicken skin. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. more intense flavor of chicken. Yeah, you gotta have with the skin, guys. Mm. We only ordered the small chicken and rice. <laughs> That's so good, I think we should order the large. Mm. So good, but we have more places to try. More food to eat, so finish this off. Go back inside, get some more food. Our second food here in the Maxwell Food Center is bak chow mi. And we are actually here at Angong, which is their new business. They've been here about a year or two. And the people here are really friendly, really nice. And they let me come into the kitchen and kind of show you guys how they make bak chow mi here. But we have the dry version here and we got the special. So basically they have all the ingredients in here for one pot. 
So it's really a hot pot that has a lot of uh, minced pork noodles. That's what it is. And it has some tofu in here. Also has some pork balls and um, some wontons. Wow, this looks like a wonderful hot pot. I'm really excited to show you guys this. All right, guys, here you go. This is tofu skins here. Some tofu skin there. Also, it looks like these are pork meatballs here. And also, we have some wontons here. Oh, this wontons look really good. You can also choose three different kind of noodles, and they have the egg noodles here. I chose this noodle. So you have the different kind of noodles you can choose from as well. Um, we got some lettuce in here, some greens, make it look pretty. Also, I think we have some, um, maybe some fried onions or garlic in there as well. And this is the noodle right here. Oh, I'm sorry, there's minced pork under here. So when I saw her making this, they actually made the minced pork with the broth for the noodle right away. So you can see some minced pork in there. Let me go ahead and mix this all up, guys, so you can see this. Oh, a lot of the minced pork is at the bottom. So it's kind of sitting down there. So as you mix it, you can see some more of the minced pork. Look at that, guys. Oh, this is so pretty. The lettuce in there looks, mixed, looks pretty too. These noodles look amazing. Mm. Wow. Oh man, it's so good. They have spice in here already. So it has a hint of pepper, the spice, but the minced pork in here. It's just a rich flavor. Mmm. Oh my goodness, the noodles are perfectly cooked. Al dente. Oh, wow, this is one of the better noodle dishes I've had in a while. Mmm. Mmm. So glad I got a chance to try this. Wow, amazing. Also, got the big wonton in here. Give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The wonton is so soft, but it has so much flavor in it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, guys. Can't get enough of that wonton. That wonton is amazing. All right. Some tofu skin here. Get some noodles and tofu skin. Mix it together here. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is one of those hidden gem foods. I highly recommend trying this, guys. Yeah, so the way I understand it is this the sauce they use for the noodles. It's made out of vinegar, also sambal, which is bring the heat to these noodles. And also, they, I think they um, make it in some pork lard or pork not fat. With the minced pork, they have the oil left over and they make the sauce out of that as well. So you're getting a really rich flavor as well as the rich and the oily texture of the pork. But yeah, guys, this noodle and the sauce, the sauce is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Also, order the special. The other ingredients on here, the wontons are really good. Better wontons I've tried also in a long time. Also, this uh, dish came with some soup. So, let me give the soup a try. Mm. Really good flavor of soup, too. <laughs> Since we ordered the dry version of the noodles, the game came out with soup on the side. Oh yeah, nice porky broth. You know what, I haven't tried this pork ball yet. I got this uh, vinegar and uh, I think chilies on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in here. Mmm, mmm. Great pork ball. But that vinegar and spice, that's really good. <laughs> You can't tell, guys. I'm enjoying myself here at Maxwell. Also, check out this food stall here. Han Gong makes an amazing bok choy mee. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get some laksa. And we're gonna go with the number one here, the regular laksa.
okay guys, right next to Angkor was Old Nanya, which near some laksa. And we wanted to try laksa here at Maxwell Food Center, so it worked out perfectly. So we only had to walk a couple steps, kept the same table, and here we are, got laksa to try. Okay guys, this is laksa, and it's a noodle which actually has curry, and coconut curry kind of uh, broth. And it has tofu in here, has some shrimp, has some uh, sprouts, fish cakes. Look at that. Let's stir this up, get all the flavors kind of get together here. Has some nice rice noodles in here as well. Wow, this looks so good, guys. We'll try a little bit of uh, fish cake here, along with some noodles and our sprouts. Oh, get a little bit more noodles here. There we go. First bite. Mmm. Wow. Oh. That coconut curry broth. Mmm. That's so good. I love coconut curry. And this broth is just spot on. Not too sweet. Perfect flavor in terms of the spice of coconut curry. There's, you can ask for more. This is really good. And you have this tofu in here. Just spongy tofu. Kind of absorbs all that broth or the coconut curry. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Wow. Of course. There you go, guys. Perfectly cooked shrimp. Mm. Wow. Yep. Aqua centers, they have different times they open. So we try to get here when they're right, open right away. But as you can see, it is getting crazy busy here already. It's just a little after 11. And we got here early enough to get to the hawker centers that open at 10 or 10.30. But yeah, don't think that we're done yet. We still have more food to try. So I'm gonna try to finish this and we'll go get some more food. All right, guys, we are gonna try one more thing here before we leave the Maxwell Hawker Center. And we're gonna try some Rojack. And as you can see, this place, has a long queue already. Look at this queue. So you know if they have long queue, that means it must be good. So let's get in line here and try some Rojak. All right guys, here we are. We have two other dishes here that's really popular. It's papaya and rojak. Now, one thing about rojak is actually it's a mixed salad of fruit and vegetables. And they have the sauce on here that has like palm sugar and some chilies and um, some peanuts on here. So it's a kind of a spicy, tangy salad with fruit and vegetables. And then we have papaya, which is kind of a fresh spring roll that has some vegetables in there, as well as some kind of like a radish kind of a, a, a item in there as well. So this is kind of a very light ending to our uh, time here at Maxwell. So let me go ahead and show you guys what Rojak looks like. Yeah, this is Rojak, right? And it just looks like this glazy sauce on here with peanuts. And so it's gonna be sweet because it also has palm sugar in here as well. Mmm. I think they also have some maybe though, not Chinese donuts, but it's also like a pastry in here as well. We have dough in here. Mm. Oh wow, this one's really um, a more intense flavor. I've had uh, Rojak before, but we saw this place right here. They're mentioned in the Michelin back in 2018. So they're really popular. And we were waiting in line for at least 30 minutes. It's a really long line. But, mm. oh, this is like green apple. Like I mentioned earlier, it's fruit and vegetables. And I did see in the display case, they had apples in there, as, as well as some radish and some cucumbers, whatever. So this is an uh, apple. Nope, I was wrong. Cucumber. Oh, wow, it's really refreshing. Yeah, so that cucumber in here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This looks like a radish. Mm. And then I'm wrong again, that thing is apple. I think the radish and the apple look similar, so. Mm. 
<laughs> that's right. Awesome. But it's a very light meal to have. You know, you have a lot of the noodles or the rice or the fried foods. But this is a nice, uh, almost like an appetizer, but it's a salad. Mmm, super good. Yeah, so this papaya, it has a very a thin layer of like flour or wheat flour, um, grape kind of thing. And then also has the rout sprouts in here, some radishes, some carrots, and then some lettuce. Mmm. One thing I'm noticing, they have some pepper in here. A little bit spicy. Ooh. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, this is a restaurant that's on Michelin Guide. They, they had that Michelin back in 2018. At the same time, they're producing still high quality food. So if you want to try Rojak or you want to try Papia, I recommend this uh, Hawker Center here as well as the Hawker Stall. A wonderful place to go. Also, the couple is working so hard. I mean, that line tells you how popular they are and they produce good quality food. So, amazing time here at Nashville Food Center. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We had a wonderful time eating here. And if you liked the video today, make sure to give a thumbs up and a like. And be sure to subscribe. We have more food videos coming up. And as always guys, appreciate your support. Have yourself a wonderful day and we'll see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.